So if you do are considering outsourcing, especially if you can't get into your lab at the moment, we've put together a really handy checklist to make sure that if you do go to other people, maybe a core that you you can work with, that you ask the right questions to make sure that your edits and your cell lines are done appropriately. Because you don't want to spend all this time and money and get something that may not be usable on the other side. So as we've talked about in the benchmark report webinar series, you have to be very cognizant of what reagents are being used. Obviously, we recommend ribonuclear proteins and synthetic single guide RNA as part of that ribonuclear protein complex. And we highly do not recommend plasmid and off-targets, uh, plasmid and lentivirus, because there's off-target concerns using those two, and the efficiencies are generally not higher. We recommend that they try at least three guides if they're doing this as a service. And asking how they optimize the transfection. Do they do a 200 point transfection optimization? And if not, what do they do? How do they optimize the transfection? How do they know they have the right parameters to be able to guarantee or at least be successful with making the cell lines that you're asking for? How do they transfect the cells? Are they using electroporation, which is considered the gold standard for editing cells? We know that lipid-based transfection will reduce the efficiency of their transfection by 20 to 50%. Again, reducing the potential for them to succeed in generating that model. And so we at Synthago always use electroporation for all of our editing. Do they use antibiotic selection? This is a common way of shortening turnaround time. However, we do not recommend it as it can generate unwanted biological effects. And you technically still should be doing a single cell cloning protocol after antibiotic selection if you go down that route because you still need to isolate genetic pure populations. How are they testing editing efficiency? We recommend some form of sequencing, whether it's Sanger or NGS, and then analyzing using software such as ICE. If they're using T71 or other enzymatic assays, as we mentioned in the analysis module, these are not accurate. And so we do not recommend these be used for any editing workflow. How are they ensuring that single cell clones are actually derived? At Synthago, we have an automated image verification process. So what does your particular choice do? And how long are they quoting for turnaround time and how reliable is that turnaround time? This is going to be dependent on their capacity and their queue. Do they only have two scientists who are working on a whole institution's projects? At Synthago, we do not have a queue and we have an entire lab filled with scientists and associates ready to take your project. So we have no queue at Synthago and we are operational during the COVID-19 pandemic. What kind of guarantees are they offering? At Synthago, the vast majority of our projects come with a 100% money back guarantee. So if we cannot get the project that you asked us to make, we do not take any of your money. This is a pretty big guarantee to offer. We are one of the only ones to offer such a robust guarantee. So what is your other providers offering you and what kind of risk is associated with it? And lastly, how do they know they will be successful? At Synthago, we have conducted over 100,000 edits and we continue to optimize our workflow to get the very, very best results. So how do you know that you're going to put down a, potentially a lot of money? How do you know you're going to actually get the cell lines that you want and move your research forward? So this is a quick checklist so that you can really ask the best questions and make the most educated decision whether or not you outsource with us or anyone else or decide to do it yourself. This is a good thing to check 